Now see what happens. Oh god, that effect though. So he can leave his room to kill me, but he couldn't leave his room to get the diary in the first place. Hi you guys, and welcome to the Shan Caravan. In today's video, we're back with more Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. We're traveling the world in search for the seven crystal stars to open the Thousand Year Door so that we can save the world. In our search for star number six, we have boarded the Excess Express en route for Poshley Heights. Although there seems to be a slew of mysteries upon this train, and someone wants to stop us dead in our tracks. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. And it turns out the thief is still on the train. Can we find this threatening menace before it's too late? It seems there is someone in your room. What? A ghost? Ew. <laughs> and, and he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. See, he knows what's up. He's like, we don't play. We don't play with that around here. <laughs> A Ouija board? No, nah, we don't play with that around here. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, what do we do? A drunken sailor. What do we do? What's a drunken sailor? I'm just checking to see if there's any secrets. Nope. I love how it's just food. <laughs> no luggage back here. Just food. <laughs> you got a ragged diary. The diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. So, I'm going to do a little something, something, a little something, something, because I feel like it and it's funny. <laughs> Did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary. Why I stay here? So I would like to see what's written in it. <laughs> I love how when the bomb moms were talking, he was like, that's none of my business, but a ghost diary? Oh. I'm all about it. <laughs> I can't say I wouldn't be curious as well. Like, come on now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. And now we're gonna do a little, a little super sleuthing of our own, you know, for for sleuthing purposes. The diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. But we are. Oh, sure. What the heck? You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Oh, sure. What the heck? I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad. You understand me? Oh, sure. What the heck? Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train, <laughs> you looked, even though I told you not to. Now see what happens. Oh god, that effect though. So he can leave his room to kill me, but he couldn't leave his room to get the diary in the first place. What would you even do with the diary if you can't hold pen and paper? That's a real question. Alright, back to our spot. <laughs> Golly, 21 hours on this? I've been looking up how long games take to play to help me like decide what to play next and whatnot. And, um, this is like a 30 hour game. And I was like, my God. <laughs> Did you find my diary? Yes, this is my diary. Very well. Your blanket is right here. I thought you couldn't hold anything, but apparently you can. You got a blanket. The conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary friend <laughs> if you had read it you might be a spirit like me right now but now i can go peacefully on from this world thank you so much you will probably never meet me again in this world fairly well <laughs> Oh, extra. Ah! <laughs> Reminds me of that scene from Amazing World of Gumball where Darwin and Gumball are like, they have like a near death experience and like their soul leaves their body. And Darwin like grabs his soul back down 
And uh, Gumball's like, well, at least your song was going up. <laughs> it's just so dark for kids' cartoon. Jesus. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper is so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Oh. All right. Cool, cool, ghost friend. Bye. <laughs> So uh, let's go give the conductor his blanket. Like I feel him. Like I'm very cold natured. Um, I am always freezing. Doesn't matter how much, like how many layers I have on. But like I'm talking sheets, blankets, and then like a blanket on top of that blanket that's like fleece or something. It's the way to go with the fan on. <laughs> so, Mr. Mario, how did it go? Blanket. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thing. Hey, it's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. What is a conductor? Because I always thought a conductor was the one that like, drove. Not just stands at the back of the, the train, I guess, to make sure nobody jumps off. Like, what exactly do you do? <laughs> oh, it's closed, but that freaked me out. <laughs> I'm like, has it been like that the whole time? And I'm just now seeing that for the first time? Let's go ahead and save again. I think I actually needed to talk to the, the pain one. Penguin. all by his room. Yeah, so it was a ghost. <laughs> I see. So it was not, in fact, our yummy, sticky suspect. Just as I suspected, the mystery deepens. It is getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. Good night, and have a pleasant tomorrow. <laughs> Off the bed. I could go to bed right now my, myself. <laughs> it's what? Um, 12.58. So it is almost 1 a.m. I am still recording. <laughs> Just for you guys. Hey, the conductor can handle the train. So let's grab a few winks, huh? A few winks. Yeah, we switching back to Gimbella. I like her dialogue better. Would you like to go to bed for the night? Yes, please. Do I get like fully restored health and all that good stuff? Granted, I haven't fought anyone, so it's like, do I really need that? Train voyage, day two. I just thought about that, but do I get any sort of like experience during this chapter? Considering I'm not like fighting enemies. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Is that the RDM? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna ad lib this for you guys. So Merlin, dude we just went to to like upgrade our partners, was rushed to the hospital. Everybody was all upset. Turns out he just ate too much. <laughs> he had a tummy ache. Yep. Um yeah, he's alright. The dude who runs the shop at Key Hall Key, he's doing all right. <laughs> get you a peachy peach, get you some cake mix, mix that. <laughs> and you get a cake. <laughs> da -da 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 cake. If you something's crazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. Cook some something recipe. In your half, and I break it down. Let me see if I feel. <laughs> What's going on? Here? Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant Luigi. 
Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital. So tell Luigi very slowly. Um, of course, of, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. Phoenix down. <laughs> but if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive. The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky, yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Mm -hmm. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though, you definitely had it yesterday, hmm? And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening, intervening time. Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin two? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. <laughs> I can't get over this. <laughs> I think that's actually like the best piece of like detective work that Pennington has done this entire time. <laughs> what did do, Toodles? Or Waitress? I don't remember which one's Toodles. You so totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. Not nice. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me, and they're like all full of memories and stuff, and I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Alright. I mean... Is there a reason you holding on to these? I mean, you need to let that boy go. He didn't let you go. And I believe... He said room 8. Ooh, a fan. Oh. Uh, maybe two? Yeah. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well? Oh, absolutely lovely. Now, listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. Alright, keep it in your pants, lady. There are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. I love that even with, like, the terrible... Not terrible, but the, the graphics of the time. <laughs> but you can still tell if she's like wearing makeup. Uh, I don't actually know where to find stuff. <gasps> A note. Vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. Hello? I just went in there because I couldn't remember whose room that was. Uh, I guess we should show it to you with his name. <laughs> I'm digging this music. So sultry. 
just reminds me, I need to play some mystery games, y'all. Like, there's new Ace Attorney. Well, not new, but like, remastered Ace Attorney. And a couple other ones. I don't know if anyone's familiar with like, Dark Side Detective. Um, I mean, Detective Pikachu, come on now. Like, I need to, I need to get those into the mix somehow. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Vital paper. What is this paper? Hmm? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? <gasps> That's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. <gasps> what? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Hmm? Cabin one, you say? Yes, zip holds room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi, find that zip toad. Where are you at, though? <laughs> Maybe uh, the, the, the girl knows since she's so enamored with him. Good morning. So any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Nah. Maybe the conductor knows. He seems to be the all-knowing. If anything, I'd put my money on him that he's in charge of, like, what's going on, the sticky, yummy threat, because he just knows everything. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. Like, that sounds suspicious in saying that. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. Alright, I know he wouldn't be with the bomb mom. Whose room is this? I don't remember. An empty room. Oh, this is the, the mouse dude. But he's in the room with him right now. Gotcha, gotcha. He's not in the shop, but you can literally see in the shop. Uh, what about Chef Chef? Hello! It is a good feeling day, isn't it, a friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious, it will make the day mad. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's my room, and he shouldn't be in there. That's the ghost room. That's the... The suit thieves through. That's the lady who lost her earring. So he has to be in here. I guess we'll do the same, uh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> same Vivian trick. The heck is he in there? Is he in? <laughs> there are several postcards and glossiers featuring zip code inside. Like, where are you at, bruh? Is he with the conductor? Now I'm lost. <laughs> no, where the heck is this guy? I doubt he'd be in her room. She's in there. Uh, a ghosty. Where you at? <laughs> there he is. I love how the music stop. It seems there is someone in your room. I heard some rustling sounds in there a minute ago. Thank you! I figured if he was trying to hide out, he would hide out in the empty room. But apparently... Could this be another clue? <gasps> another document from the briefcase? The suspect must be in here somewhere! Hmm... So now we can do this. Eh. 
doubt where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Oh, Jesus. The audio there. <laughs> Youch! <laughs> now it's pretty easy. <laughs> Ooh. So, this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. All the while, pipeline things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this is all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened the Luigi. Curses. I almost got away with it by getting off Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, friend, and the good people on this train are now safe. I'm trying to find a good voice, but it hurts doing this. <laughs> that is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbable large brain. Ahem. Well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, think. Ugh. Briefcase. A heavy briefcase with nitro honey syrup specs inside. You got a gold ring. The ring at Toodles lost. It looks quite expensive. You got shell earrings. Earrings lost by the waitress. They remind her of her ex. Kind of toxic. <laughs> oh, my precious briefcase. Is the nitro honey syrup safe? The briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank the stars. It's safe. Now I won't get the sack. <laughs> Our rendezvous with the disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. <laughs> Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Yee, we solved the mystery. Ooh. I've never played this game with headphones on before, but you can hear, like, the train coming into the station. Hey, I think not slick. You think you can hold me? No way! Bella would flip if I let that happen. <laughs> this whole zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Dupless. Bella's plan to goofify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll let the rest of Beldum. See ya, suckers. <laughs> well, off we go. Switch y'all up. Not you. Mmm, <laughs> Let's save real quick. After that good old sleuthing. Off we go. I think the entrance to the train is in the front. We shall see. Yeah. Nice. Can I fall? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Good old intrusive thoughts. <laughs> it's so super cool looking. I want to drive it right now. Your dad probably would let you, honestly. So, Little Bub really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train, exactly? Oh no, what do we do? Someone's looked at the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. Yeah, that'd be kind of hard to do. <laughs> I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat go into the station. He must have gone into the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So, uh, it's probably gets protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go and find and throw that switch? Maybe? I love how this is your train, your job, and nowhere in my job description does it say train special, but I gotta go find it. Whatever. <laughs> really? That would be super... Well, here's the station key. Just literally handing that over. 
but you should really be fine. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I've been cooped up in there breathing stale air too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. Mm. Oh, I'm making me so hungry. I don't know why I keep hitting that like I've taken any health damage. <laughs> Hello. Ah, my dear Luigi. Oh, God, what is your voice? <laughs> Our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. He was a rather slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all that Meldum business. This is Riverside Station. We stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when pleasure boats cruise the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned into pasture. Station key. In we go. Ooh. Oh, that creaky noise is creepy. There's a hole here for the elevator key. But you don't have the elevator key. Thanks. <laughs> so let's go this way. Oh, I see what looks like something from Mrs. Madame. Sorry. Okay, that was useless. Nothing there. And go. All right. I see. I see. I go here now. Okay. <laughs> eh, come on now, bruh. <laughs> hey. Alrighty. Let's switch back out of you. <laughs> Do not like fight with you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no depth perception. Oh, bro, I just got attacked. 